If I had to wrap up this video in two seconds, talking about how my first time was, it's going to be this only. <laughs> Seems like forever I've done this but now that I am done with my first semester I really felt like I should sit down and actually talk about it okay so I'm probably going to keep two sides in this video first how I personally had my experience like being an international student and staying in the UK for four months and also about the course so I think the latter half of the video is going to be helpful for those people who have got an admit in the course and they're deciding whether they should go for it like just to get an idea about how things work here and I might like share some material so you get like an idea of what the level is what they expect you to know already and all of that uh, so yeah thank you so much guys for watching the video and I really hope you like it and let me know in the comment section below if there's something else that you want to know from a person who has been in the UK for 4 months and I hope I will be able to get make a video on that. Okay so the first 4 months as an individual, the first thing that has to be on top of everything, homesickness. I don't think I've ever been this homesick in my life. There were weekends where I couldn't stop crying and it felt like I just want to pack everything and go home but that is normal when I talk to my friends and everyone. Everyone was going through the same thing and I just realized that yeah this is just a phase and I do need to go through this. So that was something really tough for me. Like, I mean, I think at least the first two months really had me because then you have the stress of your studies and then this. So it just piles up and then, yeah, you might just burst sometimes. And I, I even I did. So yeah, that's just one thing that happened. The other big thing that, something that took a long time for me to accustom to was uh, the expenses. So things are pretty expensive here and being a person who, you know, goes international, you will have that tendency to convert it to your currency. So it was just me going anywhere, multiplying everything into 100 and just literally deciding if I need it or not. So that is something which is again very natural and you will go through it. but. Uh, slowly you do realize that at some point of time you are going to be paid to afford all that so i'm in south ampton and uh, so my monthly expenses including rent and everything goes to thousand thousand five hundred uh, but if you're in london i guess you should multiply it by two because it is very expensive so the next thing definitely has to be weather oh god it is so cold here and the rain it's just unexpected okay like you will walk out it's gonna be sunny and in five minutes it's gonna start raining so yeah it's the weather plus it's extremely cold and i am in southampton so there are a lot of winds over here so it just drops the temperature to like two or three degrees so Oh, that is something that I took a long time to get used to because I never have in my life have like I have layered myself this much and like as soon as you reach your class you start taking off everything because they have heaters on. This year I think the temperature went down to minus 7, minus 8 just like casually. That is something that really shook me up like what is this weather. Moving on to the course, Master of Science in Data and Decision Analytics. Okay, so you come in September end and your classes start from first week of October. Mine started on 3rd October, could be anything for you but around the first week of October your classes may start, start for the fall intake basically and so this semester was a 4 months, October, November, December, January before I start the academic part of my first semester. I would like to make a very big, not a disclaimer, but an announcement that this course is very, very math centric. Like you need to be good in math and you should not be scared or, you know, afraid to learn more of it. And 
even if you're scared you should be willing to like you know take up the challenge and learn it uh, learn maybe revise the basics along with learning the new stuff so if you're someone who is not comfortable with it and who really has no idea then i would say that maybe rethink your choice once again for this course maybe you can try some other course and someone who has a lot of maybe experience in maths or is fairly okay with it then just like keep on watching and i will be like sharing something some question or something which might give you an idea uh, of you know you will be comfortable with it or not because that's almost how it's going to be for like 4 months i had a total of 6 subjects these are them and uh, so yeah all of these 6 were compulsory modules so i had to take take them and how it works here in southampton is you have three types of modules the core ones the compulsory ones and the optional ones so the core ones are also like mandatory to take you have no other option but my course didn't have that so other courses did so the core module needs a total of 50% to pass the course compulsory and optional both are 35 so good for me just have 35% to pass okay so yeah these six subjects and three of these these ones were all coursework based so i just had assignments laid out in these four months that i had to finish that contributed towards my final grade for that course i had no written exam for that for that but these three courses had around 30% coursework and 70% of exam and one very favorite subject of mine i think or if anyone who is in dd is watching this i'm pretty sure it's the favorite subject of everyone so this subject had um 50% of an online test and a uh, coursework and 50% weighted of the exam so that's how it's laid out for the first semester so your teaching starts from first week of october with 3 weeks into teaching so like october end and basically the whole of november you are going to be like bombarded with assignments and i am not kidding they are so strict with assignments i mean in india you would have never faced this i mean i don't think so any student would have gone through this strict this crazy strictness for you know assignments so uh, for python and um, statistical computing and data mining and analytics we just had coding to do so python was like straight up coding and it was comparatively easier to all the other courses that they were the next one was statistical computing so this one yeah okay wait 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 let me go back to python okay so introduction to python if i'm not wrong yeah it just had three assignments of different weightage each and a total of 100% and every assignment was of 100 marks uh, and obviously the difficulty level increased because obviously at the end you've learned everything by now so that was that then for statistical computing we had one assignment that contributed for the whole 100% of the final grade so that assignment was so long it took me almost a month to finish not like me like every I had like three four friends of mine it took us a month to finish it and it was not easy i mean people who are very good with r maybe might be easier for them but it just really really like disturbed me at nights like how is this code not running anyway so that's that then we had data mining and analytics this one was a very relevant subject to the course so it had four uh, assignments to first we had sql then we had regression which was like a bunch of math problems and we had to do that solve them and submit it uh, sql like was coding then third we had a group project uh, the groups were divided by the professor and uh, so be- the coursework basically uh, consisted of like us cleaning some data that they provide us with and performing uh regression classification pca and some visualizations yeah so that was a long project then we the last uh 
coursework for that subject was an individual one and it was very similar to the group project like we had a huge data set and we had to like do a lot of data analysis techniques and all that and write a report make a proper pdf a presentation and submit it so uh, these sound really easy but the data that they give is not great <laughs> it's it has a lot of missing values it doesn't make sense a lot of times it's not really easy to clean it you don't understand how to clean it and sometimes you don't get really like insightful results so yeah it gets really annoying so these three were all coursework's they were all done before the exams which start from mid jan so you're free from those subjects before january the other three subjects so first i'm going to talk about is deterministic oa methods so this is all about optimization uh, uh, linear optimization problems you have a little bit of non linear optimization and this is like a proper math like the all the other three subjects are proper math subjects and you have like crazy algorithms and formulae and everything to learn and again this subject was not easy we had a coursework which was uh, like solving an integer linear programming using this uh, software express workbench which uses mozil language something like that i have forgotten it already nice so yeah you had that and then 70% was exam i would suggest that you you know even if you miss lectures and if your lectures are being recorded listen to them because you need to be in touch with what's being thought because if you like just leave everything and sit studying before your exams i'm sorry but it's not going to help at all okay so that was deterministic stochastic or methods was something a little different it uh, basically consisted of decision theory queuing theory and simulation here the coursework was based on simulation one of the biggest nightmares i've ever had so the coursework was given just before the christmas break and i had this amazing plan to have go on a road trip uh, all around the uk and and like basically it was the whole plan was laid out in the christmas break and anyway so i did not have much and it was a group project so i sort of betrayed my group i'm sorry but yeah i like i did come back and obviously work on it so yeah uh because the professor thought we were going to be studying but no i had to go and travel anyway so yeah uh that was a group project and it basically consisted of solving a queuing theory uh problem on this software called any logic which uses java in it and <laughs> this language i don't know is so rare or something i have no idea but there are like no youtube videos uh no articles or anything no books not a lot of i would say books or videos on the internet so again it was a really tough coursework and then we had the exam and then comes the favorite subject likelihood and bayesian inference even if i'm paid by someone to do this course i'm not going to do this course ever again okay anyway so uh bayes likelihood and bayesian inference oh my god okay so i'm going to like put a question here on the screen and this question is from a preliminary test the professor gave us saying basically that this is the level that you guys should be on and things are going to build up on this and i did not know a lot of that to be very honest like i had major breakdowns when i saw that test and this was before teaching week began so you're like already settling in you're already feeling homesick and then this professor gives you something and you just get into this crisis of like contemplating every decision that you've made that was it the right decision to come here or take this course even i i don't want to share the whole thing because i don't know copyright and all I, if they hold it or not but just like this question I mean, come on this is fun itna itna chalta hai please so yeah uh, see if you guys like know this because this is a tough a pretty tough subject and uh, everything in this course goes super fast very fast like you won't even know when it start like i still can't believe it's been 4 months and i'm already done with exams and everything and i hope i pass in them god please like all the basic uh, theory of statistics and you should be very well 
worst with integration differentiation and the basic like log formulae and everything because that is going to be like this like you should solve like this in your head don't even have the time to write it down like chain rule should be applied and you should have the answer in your head i, I don't want to scare any one of you but i'm just letting you guys know so you don't go through what maybe you know the depression and anxiety i went through so it's okay uh, the only solution to that is like starting from day 1 especially for that subject because as i said it goes by really fast so the material it just keeps on piling piling and they're like 50 60 slides per lecture so and they finish it they finish it they will in a two hour lecture they they're going to finish it so yeah uh, bayesian is a big subject to look out for i would say the other two are doable little tough but yeah doable and the other three are course work so yeah that those were the six subjects that i had the exam um, of these subjects were i wouldn't say very easy but yeah if i would have studied a little bit more maybe from the beginning i would have been able to perform a little better but yeah 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 I think I'll pass. And apart from all that, then you all also have the good parts. You get to travel so much, and you make such amazing new friends, and you have amazing flatmates, amazing batchmates, amazing professors. You know, they always and the professors are good. They will reply to your email, and they're very helpful. and uh, i mean yeah i think overall i would say i did enjoy this semester as much as i cried in this semester so i think it was a balance of everything and i did have fun in it and i hopefully have fun in the second semester as well because as of now i am scared of seeing the subjects so in your second semester you are going to have some optional modules you know you have uh, to choose from these and you are going to have these two as your compulsory modules so yeah i i hope it doesn't change for the upcoming years but yeah for us this is how it's been so yeah guys that is all that i have to share with you guys and if there's anyone again making a decision whether you want to you know you should go for this course or not please don't hesitate to get get in touch with me i will try my best to like clear any more doubts that you have about this course and thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye